Yo, what's going on guys? It's the Beast Pokeballer here as always, coming at you with the Season 1, Week 1 NPA Battle. Today guys, we have our NPA Battle of versus Gen Pie, Gen Miss Snow Bunny, whatever you may call her. She is a great friend of mine, of course a fellow coach in the NPA, obviously. And uh, she is the coach of the Golden State Go-Goats, and of course we are the coach of the Dallas Star Raptors, coming back for Season 2 to take the crown. Uh, but no, for real though, I am really excited for Season 2, this is our first battle, I'm insanely nervous, I just, I, I really want to win. Uh, I'm going to try my best guys, you know I always do, uh, you know I have some thoughts, some thoughts in my head, uh, but most of you guys most likely don't know my full team, so we're going to be able to, you know, go along and learn the team together, and uh, yeah. So, week one, we have our Mega Metacham, which we drafted first round, we have our Bishar, which is our second round, we have Magnezone, we have a Cuffagrigus, we have a, uh, what's that thing called? Craid Craidildo. We have Craidilly, and we have Donphan. These are all pretty good Pokemon that me and my assistant's coach, Tabes, I'll link him in the description, his Twitter. Uh, give that man a follow, he's a great guy. Uh, we put these all together uh, to just to, to build the perfect counter to Jen's team. So we'll see how we do today, guys. I'm Again, like I said, I'm so nervous. I think we can pull out a win, though, if we try hardest. I think we can pull out a win. So, she's going to be bringing the Gudra, the Go-Goat, the Umbreon, the Zapdos, the Snorlax, and, last but not least, the Slowbro. Now, the Slowbros are mega, we know that. Something I actually noticed straight off the bat, every single one of these Pokemon is weak to an attack that our Medicham has. We have Ice Queen, uh, Ice Beam, correct? Summary, we, or not Ice Beam, Ice Punch. So, every single one of our Pokemon is weak to either Ice Punch, or... The, uh, Ice Punch or, uh, Drain Punch, except, except for her, um, her Slowbro. Now, her Slowbro can be taken out by Pierce, a.k.a., um, the Bisharp. So, uh, when it comes to the lead, I'm thinking that Cafagrigus does a really well job. Uh, what sets up Rocks here? Nothing. Cafagrigus is good, uh, Toxic Spikes will help out a ton. She does have Zapdos for the Defog, but, which really doesn't make, like, we have, uh, we have our Bisharp for Defog countering. Um, so I think Cafagrigus is a good lead. If she goes with the Umbreon, I'd be kind of scared, but yeah, we're gonna start off with Cafagrigus. Let's see what we can do from there. We can, uh, we have Toxic Spikes, we have Shadow Ball, I believe. Uh, we should be set, we should be set. What is she going to lead off with? I think she's going to lead off with the Slowbro to possibly set up a Trick Room. I don't know, though. I don't know. Uh, what's scary about the Slowbro is that it could hit us back with a Shadow Ball. It would probably do a lot of damage. Uh, I definitely don't want to let her Slowbro get set up at all. That would be pretty scary. But hey, let's go, guys. Let's go. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. All right, Genpai. We're going to lead off with our Cafagrigus, and she's going to lead off with Golden State the Go-Goat. Alright, uh, we are a defensive wall, so this actually doesn't really scare me at all. Um, so first, I'm just going to straight up go for the Toxic Spikes, trying to get two layers up. Uh, I know she can definitely try and set up against me, that's something I am scared of still. Uh, but still, um, well, you know, I believe a Drain Punch would still do a ton of damage, and we're definitely going to outspeed. Uh, yeah, I'm not too afraid of this thing. Also, we have Trap Queen to do some damage to it. Yeah, so I'm just going to set up the first layer of Toxic Spikes. See what we can do with that. She's going to go for an Energy Ball. Okay, so she's a special attacker. I definitely did not expect that. It's actually going to do a lot of damage, which kind of sucks. Um, we got our first layer of Toxic Spikes up, which is really good and really important. Now, I'm going to guess she's probably going to go for the Energy Ball again. Um... So what do I want to go into? We're going to eat up some of that leftovers. What we're going to do is... We're going to go into our... Whew, I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. Um, What can eat an... Okay, so we know Cradilly can eat an energy ball, but we can't really fire back. Uh, I know... Okay. Why is this so scary? Why am I so scared of this thing? Uh, okay, we'll go into Cradilly, because I know I can eat up his attacks, and I can set up my own rocks if I want to. Because uh, with rocks and uh, spikes, toxic spikes set up, we'll try and get a second layer off. Hopefully. 
Uh, but yeah, we know we can eat this for sure. Yum, yum, yum. Don't get the drop. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna get some lefties back, which is always good. Uh, is she gonna stay in? I don't know. All I know is that I'm gonna be going for the Stealth Rocks here to just get them out. That'll help us a lot. Gonna go super powered, so it's a mixed attacker. Are we gonna be able to eat that though? I feel like we can. And we can't. That sucks. <sighs> Alright, we lost Cray Dilly, which was our special wall. But that's okay. I still have plans, guys. We're good. So now we can go to Base Lord, which is this. This right here. Our Metacham, which is our mega Pokemon, of course. So there's no reason for me not to go for Fake Out Turn 1. This thing, like I said, really runs through her team really well. So if we go for the Fake Out, we can then Ice Punch or Drain Punch. Probably, I guess, Drain Punch. Uh, the turn, the prior turn. I mean, I guess we don't really need Ice Punch if... I don't know, we'll see. Uh, she might come to Slowbro here, which would be definitely a really, 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 really scary thing for her to go into. Uh, but I know that Metacham plus Bisharp, like, them together... Uh, we actually have, like, a lot of opportunity to do really well. She's gonna go to Hariva, which is, yeah, the Slowbro. Alright, so the Slowbro's our biggest threat. It's poison, not toxic, which really, really sucks. I should have honestly maybe sacked our Cuffagrigus just to get up that second layer. Alright, uh, we're gonna get the Fake Off off. Fake Off off, yep. It's gonna do good damage. Uh, I really don't want to eat a Scald or anything. I mean, what's important that we keep safe? Okay, I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go to the Cafagrius this turn. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Cafagrius. All right, so she's gonna Mega Evolve, of course. What's she gonna do next? What are you gonna do, Jen? Tell me. The, the slow bro is the scariest thing. Um, he's gonna go for a Scald. Alright, that was pretty predictable. Um, like I said before, though, it definitely wasn't worth risking anything. So she'll probably be able to take us out here. With a... Scald. Um, is it more beneficial to get up Toxic Spikes? I mean, I know our special attack isn't too good. We could get a special defense drop, but I don't think that actually matters. I'm going to set up the Toxic Spikes again. Because that will really, really mess up her team. I know. Uh, he's going to go for the Scald. Are we going to eat it? I don't even know if we'll eat it. I could have... Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, we're not. That's fine. Because now what we have is a really good opportunity. We have a really good opportunity to go into our Bisharp and set up against this thing. Now, what she doesn't know is that we have ourselves a Bisharp that does have a Lumberry. So, she can Scald all she wants. Um, actually, at this point, I'm almost fairly certain that we'll be able to take it off... Uh, take it out with a knockoff. And, but I feel like the setup will really, really benefit us here. Um, so I am going to do that. I am going to go for the sword stance. Maybe she'll stay in and scald. Who knows? Six hundred sixteen eggs hatched. All right, legit, legit, Jen, you done well. Um, okay, let's see what she does. Let's see. I would say, okay, she's gonna stay in and go for the scald. Like, I'll take that. Uh, as long as she doesn't get a crit, I know that we're like, like we're good. She's gonna go for the slack off. That's really good, guys. We can go for a second sword stance, and we can sweep. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna risk it though. I'm gonna go for the sucker punch here. No point in blowing the game because of a misprediction. Probably know she could get like a crit. Uh, but we take down the biggest threat she had to us. The biggest threat. The biggest thing standing in Metacham's way to sweep. Which was that. And now we're in a really good position. She can try and burn us. It will not do anything. We're in a really good position here. We really are. Knockoff will destroy. Her team isn't the fastest. Her fastest thing, I believe, is the Zapdos, which we can hit really hard, and it, I don't believe... If that's Heat Wave, they can probably take us out. 
Uh, but we can always Psyker Punch. And if she wants to defog and in the prediction of the Psyker Punch, like, feel free. She is gonna go into this thing. Uh, Sucker Punch should be able to do a ton of damage to this. A ton. She could Thunder Wave! She could Thunder Wave. Hmm, is she going to Thunder Wave? We have Lumber. Oh, who cares? Sucker Punch goes off. Is that gonna be enough to take it out? It's not! Heat Wave, she does- You're kidding me, we avoid the- Alright, so I want to say that she's gonna definitely go for the Roost here. Um, I'm gonna knock off. I don't know if we outspeed. We do. Okay, we outspeed. I could have gone for knockoff first turn. Whatever, we're good. It's gonna take her out. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Bishard coming through. Our setup did a ton. That that swords dance. That and that heat wave. Unfortunately, I feel kind of bad for that miss. Uh, but you know, it's Pokemon, guys. It happens. Uh, if I get hacked, don't attack me. Like it's something that happens. It's part of the game. You have to deal with it. Because uh, for every single time hacks happens to you later on, you'll get it. It's just it balances out really. Uh, but that that went really it's going really well so far, guys. I, I we might actually be able to sweep with Bishop. I don't want to jinx myself. I've already jinxed myself in the battle earlier today. Hashtag salt. Um, but I think we can do this. I think we can pull it off with Bisharp and Metacham combined. We got out the two biggest threats, which were both these Zapdos, because I'm pretty sure an Ice Punch still wouldn't kill it. Uh, but she's going to go into Snorlax here, which is definitely a good play by her. Um, it's going to be Poison. It's not Immunity. It's Thick Fat. I don't understand why people run Thick Fat. It doesn't seem to do much. Uh, but I'm going to go for a Knock Off and then an Iron Head. Knock Off to get the item off and then Iron Head to finish it up. She can try and paralyze us. Again, it will not do crap. And that's enough to take out the Snorlax. That's insane. I know Snorlax is definitely more of a uh, special defensive, especially defensive tank. Uh, but either way, we're still able to, um, still be able to... I was still afraid that I was going to live, basically. Sorry, I'm stuttering. I, again, like I said, I'm really nervous. Uh, she's going to ask her go, which is her Gudra. Ooh, now this thing could have that, like, sticky ability. Right? Uh, but we do have Sucker Punch, and I think we can outspeed an Umbreon. So, knock off. Just knock off. No point. Should do a ton of... Uh, she probably has the sticky ability thingy. I personally like to run uh, Gujo's other ability, like Sap Sipper. I like that. Oh, she she must be running Sap Sipper. There we go. Or like Hydration. Wow. Bisharp is putting in the work here. Don't let a Bisharp set up against you guys. People, you know what's funny? I just want to say a shout out to all the people that were like, oh, dude, Bisharp's not good in draft format. And uh, you know what? Maybe Bisharp in the past in the GBA UCL hasn't really shown uh, to be the best contender as a pick, but uh, I'm going to make it work, guys. I'm going to show you all. I'm going to show you all what Bisharp can do. Bisharp and Metacham is a really good core together. And uh, at this point, I hate to say it, but I do think that the game is mostly over. Oh, foul play. That's smart. That will do a ton of damage. Yeah, not enough to kill her, unfortunately for her. Uh, and even after the lefties, we'll be able to take her out. Poison damage. And uh, again, even if we don't take out the Go-Goat with an Iron Head, or uh, Knock Off, even if we don't take it off with the knockoff, we'll be able to drain punch it with our meta champ and it'll be game over. So I think we actually have the win. I think we got it. She's gonna send her golden her golden state. Her last Pokemon, which is already damaged, I believe knockoff will be enough here to take it out. Uh, it looked a little rough with us the way we messed up with our Cofagrigus in the beginning. Uh, but in the end. Our bishop got to set up. We set up at the right time. We didn't risk anything. Uh, we played safe. We didn't make any over predictions. We didn't go for that second sword stance. And we were able to come out with a 4 0 for our first NPA battle. And guys, that's the battle. Remember to hit up Jen's Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube in the description below. And of course, subscribe to the NPA's channel and follow the NPA on Twitter. And guys, I want to see the hashtag Dallas Star Avengers on Twitter. I want to see it. Root for your boy. We're going to win this season. I'm just kidding. We might not. I don't want to sound cocky. Uh, but I'm going to do my best to win, guys. I'm going to try really hard. I'm going to make it to playoffs at least. I'm going to say that. We are going to make it to playoffs. And, uh, guys, that's the battle. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, let the outro roll.